So, a couple of days ago, we went and saw this really great movie, and it was called The Witch. Then we went and saw another movie. It was called Fifty Shades of Black. And whose idea was that? That would be yours. I hate you. Okay. With with right now, wait, 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 wait. Before you start, I hate you with the fiery passion of a thousand suns, and I will subject you to every horrible movie I ever find in my life for as long as we're together. Let me explain. Right now, we are... <laughs> we are making some sort of consolation while eating the bitter, lukewarm pizza of regret. <laughs> <laughs> pizza Hut. <laughs> the lukewarm pizza of regret. It, it is. It is lukewarm, too. We... Okay, I thought... Look. I I know the Wayne's Brothers, right? Like, right. I, I've, I've watched... There's, I, like, I grew up watching In Living Color, No Way Minutes to South Central, Drinking Your Juice in the Hood. Like, all of these movies... Like, they've made funny stuff, I swear to God! Yeah. But it just seems like they're this perpetual downward fucking spiral. Mm. And I, I thought that, e like, okay, even if it is bad, I'm gonna get a couple of laughs out of it. I got maybe three honest-to-goodness laughs. And you were, you were being generous like <laughs> yeah. that. I got maybe one. I found one part funny. I found one part funny. I got one, maybe two. Everything else was. There's a scene. Now, my favorite part of this entire experience actually was when Chris leaned over to me and said, "What time is it?" And I said, "6:45." And then literally, 20, uh, 25 minutes later, he leans over and he goes, "What time is it?" And I go, "7:10." And he responds with, "But this movie's been on for four hours." <laughs> I'll put it to you like this: that there's one scene in this movie where someone is in a red thong shaking their dick in your face. And that is basically this movie. <laughs> it could have just been that scene. You know, the funny thing is that someone is Marlon Wayans, so that's actually perfect because this movie is Marlon Wayans mm. waving his dick it, in our collective face. Here's the thing. It, am I allowed to call a movie that's made by a black filmmaker racist? I think you are. I, yeah, I think you can because this is. Yeah, this is wow. fucking racist. Yeah. Wow. The, the racial jokes. I'm just throwing it out there. This movie is fucking racist. And they don't like, racist. like, and here's the thing, the, uh, the biggest here's problem These are my with that, six of compassion, con comfort. Regret. <laughs> here's, here's the biggest problem with this movie and just the direction and everything. The jokes, it's like they don't know how to make them land. No. Like, the, it, it, it'll be, oh it, you'll God, get a little terrible. joke and it'll be like, oh, because of this. And then they just stretch it out where it, you just immediately go Look, like. It's immediately clear they have a complete lack of material. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But kind of going back to the racial element, like the first joke in the movie okay. is that because Darren here, he, he went to the concessions. He yeah. was the lucky one. <laughs> he, missed, he missed the first 20 minutes of this. He, he, he really he did. Standing in that fucking line thinking like, oh my god, when am I going to be able to get back to the fucking movie? <laughs> Little did I know, I was being, I was being blessed by <laughs> God himself. <laughs> right, so the first three scenes in this movie are sort of Shot for shot recreations of the, of the opening yeah. to the film with Fifty Shades of Grey. So we have this scene where he, Marlon Wayans' character, Christian Black, creative name by the way, Chris, Christian Black try, tries on a suit jacket. It looks like he's just taking it on, putting it on out of his wardrobe. And then it reveals that he's actually inside a tailoring shop and he's running out without paying for it. And then it's followed up with a scene where like a sports car pulls up and you think it's for him, but no, he's just stealing it from the valet. Yeah. Like, oh, and later on when they do that little, I got you this uh, car, yeah. and then the idea was that he stole it. It's like yeah, yeah, it's stolen. It's, it's got like a on the key ring. It says Tiffany. Yeah. yeah. It's like so. But wasn't he supposed to be really rich? Yeah. Like, yeah, like that, exactly. They don't I, have no. They don't. Yeah. They don't build the, up the, the jokes. Maybe by themselves might have been, might have seemed funny, but. It's a film! Yeah, it's a film. And I know parody plays fast and loose. Mm -hmm. Lo loose I will say, I will say, I didn't go into this movie with high hopes. No, I'm so no glad none of us went into this movie with high hopes. Well, no, I, I thought mean, it was like, going to be a low, cheap bunch of laughs that yeah, I Yeah, that's get. what I thought it was going to be. It was cheap. It was yeah. cheap. <laughs> it was certainly cheap. You Very, got you got in less. But when it comes to racism, okay, there's one part in here where he has a, uh, he has a white mother. And, uh, and the white father. Isn't that Jane Seymour or something like that? So, uh, that's right. a name actress. So. Yeah. yeah. I can look this up. Well, Florence Henderson was the fucking dominatrix music yeah. teacher. 
So he comes. Oh, that and that was the other joke that I found funny when she uh, she kicks him out of the bed, and then you see this like you hear like the drum music playing, and it's like some other some guy in there playing the drums, yeah, and it's the next guy. A, 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 a skin peeing the awful whiplash parody. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. yeah um, Christian's mother is Jane Seymour. The only other thing that I found funny was when she was going through her phone. Mm. And they yes. were all called. You and I laughed at that. Joke. I couldn't remember because I had said that there were two jokes that I had laughed at. One of them was he's going down a list. He, he's in his like sex toy room, and he's looking at uh, all the whips, and all the whips are named after like black exploitation movies. No, no after like, like movies with slavery. With in slavery them, in them. Yeah. So like he's got one whip that's named Django Unchained, one whip that's uh, named Amistad. Yeah, Twelve, yeah. Years, a slave. 12 Years a Slave, and then at the end there's one that says Joe Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> it's like okay. I was but, like, all right. No, the the, the one that was uh, like didn't land at all was when the the mother comes in. Shoots the the black woman that he's dating. Teaser. Yeah, and then he goes like, "What are you doing, mom? Black lives matter." Hey, you do and it was, was just like, so she, she, says, she says something when she does that. Like, I'm using, I'm, I'm well, standing I'm my ground. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, how? No, there was like, I, I don't think I have any right to say this, but I, I'm, that's the sort of moment where you sort of have to go, no. Yeah, you no, don't, you don't get to have this fucking joke. Like, no, yeah. And the waterboarding thing, that was fucked. That was, that was really fucked up. Because, like, they're doing all these things, oh, I'm, be I'm beating you, and then all of a sudden he puts the towel over her face, where's Bin Laden? Where's Bin Laden? He's, like, oh, he's going to be even keeping that joke on ice. Yeah, God. And what was <laughs> Bin Laden's been dead for five years. And then, oh, that's not going to stop them from doing this joke. Yeah, and uh, what was the... Uh, oh, yeah. So there's a part where he's be he beats her, yeah. and she doesn't feel any pain. And the thing that I wanted to ask is, is that a scene in the movie where, where in the original Fifty Shades of Grey, where she, uh, he, she beats him, I mean, he beats her and she doesn't feel anything? Does that ever happen? That's not a scene, that's a, that was a joke. But, because uh, here's the problem. The, jo the joke was is that she, she didn't, didn't feel, feel any pain. Yeah. yeah. Now, but, I know what you're going to say here. Yeah, the problem. This goes back to the larger argument about the jokes, is that the jokes may have worked by themselves, as soon as you think about them in a bigger context of what yeah, the fuck... They're not even yeah. like a bigger context. Within the same scene, they don't <laughs> even make sense. Right. Like, uh, like I said, uh, okay, so he beats her and she doesn't feel it. He's like, he's hitting her with all this stuff. And then later on, near the end of the movie, he's hitting her with a belt, and all of a sudden she feels pain. Yeah, she suddenly yeah. feels pain. Well, this, this is even a glaring continuity error within the same scene. Because during that scene where he takes her virginity, going back... Yeah. So, because a lot of the movie is literally scene by scene, Fifty Shades of Grey. Mm -hmm. Except for the graduation thing? Did that yes, happen? That happened in the movie. That did happen. Right, right, right. yeah, that did. I I have not seen Fifty Shades of Grey. Neither have I. Yeah, I haven't seen it either. These two haven't either. But These the, two have. But so the yeah, thing is, a good parody movie can make you laugh regardless. Right. Yeah. I hadn't seen any fucking they, Western they movies. The did... They use the structure of Fifty Shades exactly. of Grey as a crutch. Uh, yes. I hadn't seen any Western movies before I saw Blazing Saddles. Yeah. The movie made me laugh my ass off regardless. Because it's a good movie that has good jokes that stand on yeah. their own. Right. But this fucking movie, uh, like I said, there's that joke that I told you uh, that I said about all of a sudden he beats her and then he he can all of a sudden he can yeah, flip the pain yeah, later. Yeah, they start using the, the ending to Fifty Shades of Grey even though it contradicts something that they've set up earlier in the movie. And again, I know it's a, it's a parody movie and it plays fast and loose with this kind of shit. Yeah. But you cannot do that. That's... A, you're blatantly contradicting yourself, and sometimes it happens within the same scene because there's that scene where she's got the outy belly button. Yeah, yeah. Later on, and, and then, then she's got nothing. It yeah, yeah, in the next shot, she doesn't fucking have it. It's and like, come on, just keep it on within the same scene. Yeah. But, but I mean, they did, and then like, I okay, I I don't the, know if what if any of you found this funny, but I found it funny that the poor brother, yeah, had the longer dick. And Boom. he just got the bigger balls. I thought that was clever, oh. but the way they showed it was not. Yeah, exactly. And it was clever. It would have been clever if they did it in a way which would have been, like, not what they did. Well, I because guess. the whole yeah. well, well, it was it's, in two different scenes. That, that yeah. hadn't even crossed my mind until you just said. Yeah, that. exactly. Yeah, I, I, I did not think about that. The <laughs> only the only reason I even remember it is because they there's the scene in the movie which you just uh, you brought up about the magic mic parody. Yeah, the magic mic parody where she Randomly. Was like, magic go, mic she goes, flashback. Yeah, and she goes, "Oh my God, you have a baby dick. He's got a baby dick," and they all start laughing at him, and I was like. I thought about it and I was like, wait a minute, but his brother has the longer pe Okay, that would have been clever if they had done it a if different way. See, here's the thing, I don't even think Marlon, Marlon Wayans and 
<laughs> you know, no, that, 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 just like, man, I want to make a oh dick my, joke. That first yeah. time when he just pulls out his fucking balls. Yeah. Oh my god. That, that, what 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 was the laugh I was supposed to get from that? It's, look, it's his balls. Yeah, it's like, yeah, look, his balls. And why is he pulling out his balls in front of this woman? Even if he, pull, even if he was pulling out his balls, I could... If, if there was like a, if there was a suggestion of a joke like, yeah, like the balls were actually painted blue. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. If that had happened, well, I would have laughed. There wasn't yeah. even that. It was just look it, at look the at, look at this balls. Pros, look at this prosthetic scrotum. Yeah, look what we spent half our budget on, basically. And yeah. the, the other thing about like going back to what you said about like maybe it would have been clever if it, if it was the poor brother had the longer dick and he had those ridiculous balls. Is like one of the jokes later in the movie is that like all of the kids are adopted anyway. Yeah, like, they've yeah, all yeah, been yeah, adopted yeah. from different parts of the world. So yeah. it kind of ruins the so idea. So it wouldn't that... have even worked as a joke because it wouldn't have made sense. Yeah. If you say that, it's like, okay, so one of them's just got a huge dick. Oh, okay, and then balls. And not only are they racist against like black people, they're also racist against friggin' Asians. Yeah. yeah. With that... his sister. Uh, his adopted sister and how, you know, she, the mother, they're sitting at dinner and the mother goes, oh, you know, I got, um, duck from China and she goes, I'm Korean. And then they like do a half-ass joke where she, the, uh, Jane Seymour tries to speak Chinese and yeah. it's yeah. just a disaster. And, and, and that's, that's yeah. where I reported it. They that, scratch that whole, off the jokes till they're fucking like weenie. Like, is just awful. Like the I mean, exact I mean, awful joke that comes to mind when you think of somebody like doing a racist Asian joke is going ching chong ching chong. And, that and that's exactly what she did. <laughs> yeah, and that's what fucking okay. Was it Fred Willard? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Fred. Yeah, Fred. Uh, it was Fred Willard. Was the, yeah, that's Fred Willard. Fred Willard like was said, the father. When was the last time he was in a good comedy? I can't name Anchorman. it. Anchorman. <laughs> yeah, Anchorman. Okay, I will say this ago. though. I will say this though. Um, comparatively. From between black, uh, Fifty Shades of Black and Fifty Shades of Grey, I would take Grey over Black and oh, yeah, fucking would... day of the week. Jeez. Oh yes. I would watch that movie 12 more times if I never had to hear about this thing, movie. Okay. I'll, I'll say, first I'll say one point about the dinner table scene and then I'll go back to yeah. the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So this dinner table scene, they have all these characters, mm -hmm. like pretty much all, every single major character in the movie is at, is at that dinner yeah, table. Yeah, at the dinner table. Gags, and two of them are literally just fucking at the dinner table and apparently yeah. no one's noticing and apparently that's supposed to be a gag in of itself like they're just fucking at the dinner table yeah. that yeah. wasn't in the original film anyway yeah. so, so it's literally just them fucking at the table as a gag right well and that whole character that, that whole character oh yeah the and the white girl right. like like pissed me off as a white girl oh they're trying to be black the white girl yeah. trying to be black yeah. speaking ebonics N not Rebel Wilson with the colored <laughs> hair and shit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she was the worst. And it was insulting. She was in that first twenty minutes that you missed. Yeah, yeah she, she was, was just. Oh she my set God. the tone for the whole movie because, like, the first scene is um, the main girl Hannah and this <laughs> white girl trying to be a black girl whose name was like Catatonia or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Whatever. They're just talking and she's icing her crotch, going. Oh girl, I got chlamydia so bad. And I'm like, that's 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 our first joke. Is ooh girl, no, I got the, chlamydia. That was the fourth joke after the three racist jokes about Christian. Oh Christian yeah, black stealing shit. <laughs> yeah, he's black. that was the first spoken First. joke. Yeah, the first <laughs> the first actual scene was ooh girl, I got chlamydia so bad. Yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, it's like, is here's the thing that pisses me off the most. Is Fifty Shades of Grey really that hard to parody? No, it's not. No, <laughs> no it, here's, the, it, here's the other thing. Like, it's a okay, fucking BDSM So here's story. the thing. Here's the thing about Fifty Shades of Grey that I don't think a lot of people realize, and it's terrible. It well, no, well, no actually compared, that. actually compared to this movie, it's a fucking best-selling novel. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But I mean, here's the thing. To me, Fifty Shades of Grey could have been an excellent movie if they had done it without being like boring. Without relating it to the book. Yeah. yeah. You know, you know that the, the saying that you should never mention a better work in your own. Uh -huh. And there's a scene where, where Marlon he breaks, Wayans is yeah, reading. Yeah, he starts reading. Yeah. 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 They yeah. take out the Fifty Shades of Grey book and, and just start yeah. reading it as an actual torture device. Yeah. In the movie. And she's like, no, no, please. And that then he's just there commenting on it, just like, whoa, was this written by a third grader? I don't know, was this movie written by a third grader? <laughs> <laughs> fucking, fucking hell, man. I mean, come on, Fifty Shades of Grey is not a hard thing to parody. No. no. But, yeah. And, there, and let's be fair to Fifty Shades of Black. 
occasionally it seems like Waynes has a vague idea of how to actually send up mm -hmm. yeah. Shades of Grey in that he really I feel like in that he plays up the abusive angle yeah. of, of the Christian character. Right, right. But yeah. it's never to a point where it feels like it's funny. It never feels, It always feels like yeah. it's harder. Like it's like in the movie in the in in Fifty Shades of Grey, like Christian plays it up. Christian Grey plays it up, but he doesn't, yeah. he's not like sadistic about it. He's literally just doing what he feels, and you see that the character sees that this is necessary because that's a core part of his character. Yeah. But in this movie, it's just like, oh, I'm gonna beat the shit out of this girl for the sake of comedy, and I'm like, that, that, no, that's not why that is. Or, or the part where he's getting all the materials to kill someone. And well, that's a direct reference to a joke they added in the film version, mm -hmm. because Christian Grey is played by Jamie Dornan in the film version, yeah. and they added a little joke to reference the fact that he plays a, a killer on a on a TV show. Mm -hmm. So he's so he, so she says something on the lines of playing playing to be a serial killer, and he says not today. And Marlon yeah, Wayans had that and joke, that and then decides funny, to, though. And, and then decides to ruin the job. Yeah, yeah, they stretch the shit out. Like I said, like fucking uh, the movie, Linguini okay, on this bitch. It's just like, stop that, it, stop it. That stop joke, it. I actually laughed at that joke. I thought yeah, it was I funny. Thought, I thought the original joke was funny. Or, yeah, it was very yeah. funny. Or, or uh, the scene where it's like, um, do all uh, the girls react this way? And he's like, only some of the girls. And, of course, the white girl was okay with it. The Asian girl was even crazier because... Why two girls, one cup? Uh, are, a, a timely reference there. Yeah. The references in yeah. this movie, movie are either like super timely... Like, six years yeah. too late. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're either six years too late or super timely. So you'll get... So you get sort of like Black Lives Matter and Donald Trump jokes, and then you'll get the, references to a waterboarding and a summer bin Laden. Dude, yeah. Donald, the Donald Trump joke didn't even make any fucking sense. It's like, is this Donald Trump uh, uh, running for president crazy, or Donald Trump uh, making fun of Mexicans crazy? It's like, what? What are you? This is equally crazy. Like, I don't know. And then he starts like once again pulling the joke, stretching it, going like, leave those Mexicans alone. Donald Trump, you crazy. Da -da -da. It's like, stop it. Yeah. Stop. And the dude said, mm. like, and, and at first when he was doing the, hey, uh, fuck you later. And then she's like, what? And it's like, I said I oh would meet you later. Oh my god, how many oh times that, that character, character was in this movie? Because yeah. <laughs> he just disappears after a while. Well, he, did, yeah, well, he, well, he, just, he, he disappeared in the original movie, but here, what they try to do is they try to play up the seediness of that character. Mm. And what that basically amounts to is that Marlon Wayans ends up joking about rape. I'm like, what yeah, yeah. That he actually right. does it. Yeah. yeah, like that whole character's a rapist. And it's like, ha ha, that character's a rapist. Yeah, that's right. Fuck that's you, the movie. movie. And he oh, doesn't. Unlike, unlike Fifty Shades of Grey. <sighs> You don't. We're good. Oh, um, it was. It was. We nearly spilled spill Pepsi. Yeah. <laughs> That's way more concerning. Unlike Fifty yeah. Shades of Grey, that character doesn't receive a comeuppance because in Fifty Shades of Grey, Grey saves her from that character, and it's basically like two abusive characters fighting yeah. like, <laughs> over her. But in but, but in this movie. That character beats the shit out of Christian yeah. Black, and, I didn't, and then he walks off out of the movie. Yeah, I didn't get it. It's like, wait, why are you giving him the ability to kick this guy's ass? Like, it doesn't make sense. It didn't feel, I don't want to say deserved, but like, it just did, like, why does he... It's because Kung Fu shit is funny. Yeah, you know and, and, but, oh, oh, and can we speak? Whoa, whoa, wait, before okay. we go on about uh, to uh, that, no, I just no, want to, no, no. yeah, but I just want to talk about that scene for a second. I didn't see it as two abusive characters with somebody beating the shit out of Christian Black. I saw this guy beating the shit out of Marlon Wayans for this movie. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't know if the rest of you saw that, but I totally did. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the fucking uh, audience members. Oh my god! Okay, 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 can we talk about, first of all, Okay, should we do the people who left or that fucking kid? Let's talk about let's, the kids first. Let's, let's talk about the kids about, first. Yeah, let's talk about, yeah, let's talk about this, this family outing that was in front of them. <laughs> I don't okay, understand. So, wait, so, wait, wait. so this is a, a rated R movie. This a is very like, hard R movie. Yeah, this is a very hard R movie. It's it's Deadpool R. Like it's no, no even more than Deadpool. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, even yeah. more than Deadpool. Deadpool didn't fucking swing his nuts in your face like, three I, goddamn I honestly, times in a row. I honestly said to these guys, I was like, I would have been completely okay with this six-year-old child seeing Deadpool than seeing this Cause, shit. Because that's just good American we entertainment. Sit down, we sit down, and my first immediate impression is is the girl. Oh, like screaming and laughing, and we got the art rated trailer for what was it, Keanu, Keanu. in front of this? Uh, and yeah. I lean out, and I lean over to you, and I'm like, that kid it, can't be older than second. Yeah, that, <laughs> I lean over to you, like, 
are they gonna walk out of the movie? Do, do, do they know what's true? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are we gonna see more Facebook posts as, like, I'm really disappointed in Fifty Shades of Black? <laughs> Apparently not so good for kid. a six-year-old. <laughs> this was all the family in front of the movie. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. the parents and there were two children under the age of 10. One of them was six, and the other one I think was like eight, or maybe Probably eight or nine. They were fucking giggling their asses. Oh, they, they, they were laughing. Ass. They, they were it. Marlon Wayne's biggest fans. They really <laughs> were. Like, uh, how many times was that look? Like, I, oh my god, like, I, I hate kids. Jokes that weren't even oh remotely god, he, Chris funny. Chris leaned over in the movie and said, I fucking hate that child. <laughs> <laughs> Shit that wasn't I even did. remotely funny. No, like, oh. they just said the N-word, yeah. and this kid was like, ah! <laughs> and I leaned over to Jess. I was like, "Like, is it wrong? Or is it wrong to like want to strangle him? Like, <laughs> I don't care if he's six and with his family. I want him dead." <laughs> it's like I just want to go over and like, I, I just want to. Here's fifteen dollars. Go see Deadpool. <laughs> Please. He's like one of those kids that is like, "Oh, hi, it's a comedy. You can laugh." Yeah, you know? yeah. Get it. Get it. Balls. Yeah. Balls are in his balls. Yeah, they, were laugh, they were laughing most of the bits that, that they really shouldn't be old enough to understand, so it made yeah. it really even more disturbing. And <laughs> Then there was this one I wonder if like where a lot they, uh, they referenced the joke as they were saying it. Yeah, yeah, that was the other weird bit. Wait, which bit? Uh, oh, the uh, ones where she was like, oh, boo, what are you doing? Like, oh, the yeah. Yeah, thing, and the little girl be... was doing it at the same time. Because that's from the trailer. Oh, okay. That's why they were doing it. Because okay. okay. we, we yeah. were confused. We, all thought, we were like, did they Have they seen, seen this movie already? before? Yeah. I was like, it's... Is this movie worth a repeat show? <laughs> <laughs> well, think, well, no, 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 no. That was the point where we both, look, where me and you, yeah. we're, we're sat on either end, and we look at each other like, what the fuck? What? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that was oh, the is point. that why you were looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> that was the point. Like, because he was, was looking past me, and I was like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I was looking at him because there was that scene, and like... He was he was doing like like the race of yo this is how black people talk when they argue they go girl 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 and then and they go girl what are you doing yeah. and then, then there was the little kid was doing the exact same thing at the same time and I was just like and I looked over at him I was like <laughs> <laughs> and, and it was such a it was such a like you could tell they just wanted to have a white people do this and but black people do this moment because it didn't even really fit with what was happening okay in, like, I'm not even room. okay I. I just want to say this as a person who, and I, I know that this is going to sound racist, but oh, it's good. not, I promise. Oh, good. Good thing as it's on a your white channel. person, <laughs> I was offended for every race in this movie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, just because of how, like, it, you know, everyone is a stereotype. Yeah. yeah every single character yeah. is a stereotype, from the white mom who's, like, scared of black people, to even the Asian sister, to fucking Christian black, to the bitch... Mm. To like all the girls who came into the room were all stereotypical. My, my thing is, you, I am okay with making. Fun oh my of god! Things. And the bitch at the front of the movie who was like, "I'm fucking the boss." Like that was such a stereotype. She never appears again. She uh, never appears <laughs> again. But like, I would completely yeah. be okay with making fun of like stereotypes. Fine, oh, whatever. Sure. Especially, uh, especially when you're trying to deconstruct them on oh, a certain absolutely. level. But uh, th this movie. It, it just revels in the stupidity. That's what I don't what's like. I good, hate the laziness. What's, yeah. what's a good deconstructing stereotype? Chappelle movie? Show. Chappelle, Chappelle Show is a great. No, like uh, I mean a movie. A movie. Uh, I can't uh, think of any uh, one in particular, but yeah. like the blazing slap, blazing, blazing saddles. Yeah, 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 blazing saddles does it. <laughs> um, yeah. But like, oh, oh, going back to it, uh, I think I think I. Oh, I might have brought this up. Where they uh, where they go to the white woman and she's like, I'm totally down with this. And then the Asian woman who's like, it's like, where's the where's the two where's the wait, when where's when the comes the part where we eat shit? Yeah, I was like, wait, what is that? Do Chinese girls yeah, that then, a stereotype? And, but then they went to the black lady and she was just like, oh hell, ta ta no. And yeah. I was like, oh. And okay. now I, I thought it was gonna be really quick. And then times. she did it. Yeah. And I was like, like, it's not funny anymore. Yeah, he just kept going. He's like, what about wait? If it was, like, if no. It was, if it was, it was what about change? Oh hell no. Well, what about this? Oh hell. Tuna, no. And I was like, oh my god, is he gonna do it like again? If they, they like, done, if, they done, yeah. if they had done a what about this, no, what about this, hell no, it like quick cut cuts. It, yeah. it would have been funny. Uh huh. Yeah. But no, like, like every joke in this movie, everything is stretched out, or it's not funny in the first place. Yeah, okay, he has to keep then, explaining it. Yeah, yeah, and then, and then, and then, our other audience have to... Well, them. actually, hold on. Before, before we get to them, there's like, you know how it's always, like, super groan-worthy, like, when you hear, like, comedi like, white comedians will talk about, like, oh, you know, black people, they talk during the movie, or... You know, yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. And I was oh like, my god, every black this... person in that movie, every black person in that movie 
person in that theater would not shut the fuck up. I'm sitting there. I'm yeah, sitting there with a white guy. Yeah, like audience response is like, oh, like um during during the sex scene, and she's got the hair. Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the guy in front of me goes, oh my god, that's the worst. <laughs> or like, so, uh, I, I shit you not, the guy in front of me legitimately went, damn! Oh, okay, and this is another thing, okay, with the character uh, who, who turns out to be a virgin, the, yeah. the female the lead, lead character, yeah. first of all, she's fucking horrible in this film. Oh uh, God, well, yeah. she's <laughs> unbearable. Terrible. She's terrible in this movie, but what doesn't help is that every time she's on screen, they take pot shots at her. Yeah. And it's really like really nasty, mean spirited. Really yeah. nasty and vindictive. Yeah. The entire film is nasty and vindictive. But this is probably the cruelest stuff of them all. Like they, there is not a bodily function that sh that someone doesn't go up to her and say, "Your shit stinks." Oh, oh, you, remember, you, remember, look, you look like, every, like yeah, you look, some you girl look like in the bathroom, like, the "Bitch, you smell like shit." The dude, the deadest joke in the whole fucking film, like no, no one laughed. Was when she's like, "I gotta go take a shit," and her friend says, "What?" And then the music cuts off, and she says, "I said I gotta take a shit," and everyone just looks at her like. People don't uh, do that. Yeah, I was like, that's not a bad... What? <laughs> like, everyone thinks... Like, they were trying to play it like, I got my balls laminated. You, what? You, you, you kind of missed the worst of those jokes. Yeah. Those, those jokes are really, really hammered in the really first mean. 20 minutes. Yeah. Like, they just go up to her as like... Like, and, like, the first thing that Christian Black says to this girl is like, Man, how am I ever going to fall in love with an ugly, plain-ass bitch like you? And I was like... Well, you're about, isn't this like the whole point? Like you're about to just go into this weird BDSM shit with this girl? And, like, and it's not like she's like some fucking swamp. Uh, yeah. You know. I mean, she's, like, she's she's plain, but she is pretty in her own way. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, sure, but like, but the whole like what they're saying the in means, this movie is yeah, like, the mm, mean spirited, the mean spiritedness yeah. is just it's yeah. so much that you're like, like what her, the her check better yeah, have so, been really so we, goddamn so we, good. So we can add racist and we can add misogynist. That. Yeah. Can I also add that it's a bit homophobic because there is a uh, scene no. where she's oh yeah. yeah there's a scene where she's punishing Marlon Wayne's yeah. towards the end of the film and let it be said that the joke that you said was funny where they had all the whips that was named so, yeah, after Joe slavery Jackson. movies yeah they 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 recite those jokes like they do every joke in the movie because yeah, yeah. apparently oh. you can't fucking read if you see this yeah. movie they right. recite the joke Marlon Wayne's recites all these jokes again as if as if like if you don't remember what that what that yeah, exactly. was referring to, I'll directly reference. Yeah, like what she says, movie. this is for the Django Unchained. It's like the and theme the was silent. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, I, 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 you weren't even in that. Movie. And what she is, only wanted soap. You know, yeah, and what was the one like? And this is for Fifty Shades. Uh, the character the, of Fifty the girl, Shades of Grey. This is for the girl in Fifty Shades of Grey. And I was like, who? I don't. Yeah, what? You're not. I, God but, damn it! But at the end of the movie, but at the end of that scene, she pulls out a huge dildo yeah. and rams it up his bum. Yeah, and it's like, man, that's a that's a really homophobic gag. And, and, and of course, the six-year-old in the audience loved it. Well, loved oh, that shit. Ain't that shit up. That off. And, but, and the following scene is him weeping uncontrollably in in bed, like, oh my god. Yeah, it's like, ha ha, what a little bitch. You yeah, got, what a little bitch. Like, he got his asshole stretched. And here, here's the thing, it's like. Oh, like I said, they play her off as a virgin, but then like there's all these little gags where she goes where black she's like a on hardcore, him. Yeah, yeah, and she's like, oh no, I don't do that shit. Oh da da da. And I was like, wait, I thought you were supposed to be the shy, oh, yeah. unassuming virgin. Like what? That doesn't they work. Have, they they have, have the scene that looks like it's from like The Incredibles, like where they're sitting down and it's like they're going over this contract. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah. She's like, she's like, she's like, oh whips, yeah, sure, dildos, all right, it's a vaginal clamps. Why not three? And I'm like. Yeah, like, like two scenes ago, you were just like, he was just like, "Are you a virgin?" And you're like, "Yeah." It's like, yeah. I, and he was asking you all these sex questions. You're like, "What is that even and they mean?" They stretch that shit. And he's like, "You haven't even done it in the butt." Well, what were? Yeah, why right? haven't you done it in the butt? Just uh, da -da 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 -da. But what about giving a blowjob? But it, it's like, stop, stop, leave the fucking joke alone. It's not goddamn funny. Now, Settle sorry. Settle down, Venus. <laughs> now let's talk about those other people in the audience. Yeah. Oh, we're more we're imitating. Them, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> so there were people sitting behind us, which was okay, whatever. Equally obnoxious, by the way. Like, <laughs> when they say they would say a joke, like, oh, he just said, and repeat the line. I was like, yeah. thanks for fucking her. <laughs> no, you got that in like, like, <laughs> yeah, and then like, okay, so then about then, what, like, thirty minutes into the film? Yeah, no, no, like, this, like, this, 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 this was a good like hour. It was a good. Yeah, it was like a good. Hour, okay, I, it felt like 30 minutes to me. I don't know. Really, why. it felt quicker. It felt like six hours to me. <laughs> but like 45 minutes into the movie, yeah. Uh, security comes behind us. Yeah, yeah I 
didn't even notice this, this, I didn't this, realize this, was, like, this was happening until they took I saw the flashlight on the corner of my house, like, fuck is on their phone, and I look around, I see security is talking to these people, I'm like, yeah, because there was a oh, flash, no. there was like a flash on the screen, and no, I thought it. somebody had taken a picture, so I Someone looked... had taken a picture, that, yeah. was a, that was a camera phone flash, okay. oh. it looks like someone walked out and reported them for piracy, uh, 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 they show the scenes, I don't know, nobody well, wanted like, to report the family so, for bringing their so five year old to see the so what happened was, so this oh, the shutter went off or whatever, so I turn around and all of a sudden I see security like looking at their tickets. So I turn to Mikey who, you know, had all our tickets. I was like, dude, do you have the tickets? Because I think they're going to check our oh, tickets. No, this, was, this was sometime after the flash went off in, in the screen. Yeah. So, this, so the flash went off. I didn't think much of it. I was just right. Like, I was like, somebody's on their fucking phone. Uh, yeah, right. yeah. So the flash went off. And then about a while later, I you, you suddenly turn to us and say, have, have you got your tickets? And I look behind me and I just see this, see the flash of a badge. And I'm like, what the fuck is happening back here? <laughs> Big ass fucking police officer with a gun on his hip. I was like, whoa. I was like, this it? This how we die? <laughs> I'm gonna die 400 miles away from my house. I'm mean, gonna die over fucking 50 shades of black. <laughs> no, it wasn't supposed to be this way. No, but my thing is, uh, I think the idea was that they, they had stolen a movie, you know, or they came in to see a movie. I guess they hadn't paid for it. That's what I think would happen. Yeah, yeah. But the thing that made that uh, w was funny to me was that, like, these motherfuckers <laughs> snuck into Fifty Shades of Black. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, really? There's so many other movies playing. Like, we saw when we got there, there was a bunch of people at yeah. the ticket office that were like, I was like, oh man, we didn't, uh, of course, because we're dumb. We were just like, oh, I didn't think it was going to be this busy either. It's a Saturday fucking night, Deadpool. Deadpool started 15 minutes after ours. So. Yeah, uh, so it's like, uh, most yeah, of these people are probably here. Yeah, for and now a everybody good movie. who went up yeah. to the ticket office was like, two tickets for Deadpool, four tickets for Deadpool, like all this. And then we get to the counter and we're like, yeah. four for 50 shades of glass. And the girl who was, and she gave a look. <laughs> She's like, did you see the look yeah, she gave? Sure here here comes this. Caravan of white people. <laughs> and the one black guy was in the back of us. Like, the four of us were at the front of the booth. And, like putting us like, oh yeah, we're getting like four tickets, and then I had mine. And it was like, yeah, we're getting four tickets, and she's just like, what the fuck are you getting? I was like, and then I ordered mine after yours. I was like, yeah, I'm going to Fifty Shades of Black too, and she was just like. <laughs> yeah, like, and 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 I left the seat for you. I left the seat. For you. She was, she was, but she, yeah, she gave us this look of you white people are really gonna go see this movie. <laughs> so you, you do understand that everybody else that's gonna be in the theater is gonna be black, right? They're gonna be, they're gonna be looking at you too. <laughs> no, but my thing that pissed me off was that like, okay, I mean, no, excuse me. The thing that made me laugh was they <laughs> they kicked him out, and then I was thinking, I was like, wait, we're gonna. Kick I mean, down. I mean, look, look, I understand why you wouldn't want to pay for Fifty Shades of Black. Oh yes, absolutely. <laughs> having having paid for Fifty Shades of Black, you do not want to pay for Fifty Shades of Black. But I don't understand why you would want to get in trouble over it. <laughs> that shit ain't worth the cop coming up to you and saying, excuse me, son. We're all clear to that yeah, point. Yeah. 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 Five, seven people. Yeah, yeah, I was like, holy fuck, dude. <laughs> I, have, I, have, I have been to loads of movies. I have never in my life seen anyone ejected from a cinema, let alone someone being ejected by security. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've never, like, I've seen, like, the, the valet people, or not valet people, but I've seen, like, you know, employees come yeah, in yeah, and they right. check the air conditioning, uh -huh. and occasionally they'll shine their lights over just to make yeah, sure I'm nobody's, like, when, when, I, when I saw Deadpool, there was a, there was actually the, the uh, cinema employee watching the audience at certain points with, like, like yeah. night vision cameras. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I see that every now and again, but never yeah, have I, I seen, seen anybody um, removed. But I've yeah, never I've seen anybody seen, Yeah, I've never seen anybody removed, like, that forcefully by security. I've seen people flashing flashlights to make sure that there's, like, no yeah. fucking going on. Right, exactly. Or, or no blowjobs or whatever. But I haven't seen, and I think one time I was, I, I was in a theater and uh, some employee came in and escorted, like, these kids sure. who snuck into the movie out, but it was never like security. It was yeah. always and an employee people, of the establishment. Sat here when we got there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And the thing is, the, um, where oh, fuck? Excuse me. Um, <laughs> I hate this fucking movie. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, uh, no, no, no. 
Uh, oh, here's the thing. During that scene, uh, d during when that was happening, that was the scene when the fucking flashback yeah, to Magic, magic Mike was happening. Magic Mike. And I was like, I'm watching this. <laughs> these fucking assholes <laughs> getting kicked out. You know, what's I happening in our cinema right now is, is much more interesting than well, what's going on, it was on screen. Fucking, it was a useless filler scene that didn't yeah, matter anyway. It's like, were they even making fun of Magic Mike? Was there a joke? No, he was point? just a dancer, and like he was like the only jokes oh, oh, no, I remember from that scene is he's like, yeah, 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 he had like the, the only jokes I remember from that scene is that he had a little dick. Uh huh. That was one joke. That he was like like dry humping people. Yeah, like, it was really, like this really fat chick. Like, and, yeah, he would yeah. go up to oh like look, it's a fat white girl, and she's like really liking it because yeah, he's yeah, fucking yeah. humping the shit out. I, of her. I never for the rest of my life ever want to see Marlon Wayne's licking things, dry yeah. humping oh, things. Uh. That's another scene you missed. Uh, actually, you came in right at the tail end of it. Is uh, she like the main character oh, works yeah. at a hardware store, and that's where they have that joke about like, "Oh, are you a serial killer?" It was like she's uh, she's thinking about she had met Christian Black, and like he's a real asshole, and she's like, so she's going back to her regular humdrum job, and like she's got a pencil, and she just like starts deep throwing yeah, it, she, she, yeah, and it says right, black that. on, yeah. like full on. And then, like, like yeah. some, it was like, some, went on for like some a minute. white dude walks past her and he's got this massive erection. <laughs> yeah. But it's like the first in a series of scenes in this movie where people are licking things, especially Marlon Wayne's. There's that scene where. She, and where mugging for the camera. Do you, you, you want to know right? what'll make me smile right now in relationship to this movie, Matthew? What, me reenacting him? No, no. The ah. I want you, no. I want Gross. you to say, in, in, your, in your wonderful Britishness, I want you to say the word boner. Boner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the dude had a massive boner. Thank yeah. you. That's a, no, because you can't say erection, because erection is too highbrow for this movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, oh, it's so I don't, terrible. Like I said, I never want to see Marlon Wayans licking things, dry humping things, or do or his O face ever again? <laughs> well, and like like I said, during that scene, that whole uh, Magic Mike fucking yeah. send up, you can call it that. It's like the joke at the end of the thing was supposed to be he has a small dick. Yes, yes, the thing is, like, we didn't need three fucking minutes of setup for that to happen for a little dick joke. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And well, then the whiplash joke. Hey, but, wait, 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 wait. Before before we go on about that, did did anybody else notice that he was uh, he was a very quick. Uh, a one quick, pump chump. A one pump chump. Did anybody yeah. else? Well, yeah, because they constantly made gag. that was a running gag, and he constantly was yeah. like, and it made no fucking sense. Like he would just know. he would he would give a hump, and was like, he was like, all right, I'm done. And yeah. see, that's, that's, see, that's like, the problem already? with this movie is that is that the jokes are not in any way related to the characterization. Yeah, exactly. Like, the not, scenes don't really feel like they're connected in any way. Like yeah, the, the, once right. it happens. And then, it, next scene happens, yeah. but there's not, like, a progression. It's like the characters are different in this, every this scene. Yeah. Like, because the progression is the plot of Fifty Shades of Grey, but the problem right. is, is that when you're writing long-form comedy, I don't give a fuck if it's supposed to be, like, a spoof movie. It's supposed to have an internal logic. Yeah. And Fifty yeah. Shades of Black defies its internal logic on so many occasions that it doesn't even have one to begin with. Yeah, like like I said, the, the idea is that this guy is supposed to be a master of, like, Sex and fucking all these bitches because he has all these girls, right? To be rich. Yeah, and then yeah. there's these constant references to him being poor. Like, what the? F and they don't make a bigger right thing way. out of it. It's just like, yeah, yeah. They just try to do it both ways. Like, they introduce his brother, who is yeah. the poor brother. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. literally. And then they introduce his mother, who keeps saying, "Well, I have to check my wallet every night." Yeah, yeah. But, well, but he the also says, the poor he also says things like, "Oh, I built my empire on 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 crack." You know, just like another stereotypical. Yeah, thing. and then and then at the end, where where it's just like my mom was a crackhead, my real mom was a crackhead, and I can't you know, like count or something like that. It's just like because that's what Christian Grace. <laughs> like what the fuck? Like where did this come from? Yeah. There's no like. Right. It's really awkward because you can tell the bits where they where they're either parroting or paraphrasing Fifty Shades, mm. and then it immediately goes into the joke, which contradicts all, all the material right. around it. Right. And, and it's, the, it's like it's like reading Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, except yeah. the intention is not the same. Yeah. <laughs> like, and then fucking Mike Epps has his scene where he comes in and he's like, "I'm her dad," but these are also the I, other. I wish he turned to camera in that scene and goes. Uh -huh. If you like this shit, how about you watch my parody of The Purge? <laughs> Timely parody of The Purge coming out. I mean, 
<laughs> but <laughs> but uh, my thing is, it's like th- uh, that was the one scene that like you could tell like, oh, okay, a lot of this is fucking improv, oh, so but you, they're you not good at it. Yeah. yeah, they're not good at it at all. Because it's again another joke about how how people smell, or more specifically, how how women's vaginas smell. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, that dude. pissed me the fuck off. Yeah, I was like, here's uh, this, 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 from this one's from Dubai. I smell my fingers. Yeah, I, I, I put my I put my uh, thumb in the booty, bitch, in yeah. a bitch's booty. It's okay, like, here's here's the thing. This is gross. Okay, here's the thing that I gotta just say about this because as the only woman who saw this movie in this group of people, <laughs> women's vaginas smell, but it's not to the degree that was displayed here. It's literally... There's your, there's your tagline right there. Uh, <laughs> women's vaginas smell. <laughs> that shit, though. I mean, Marlon Wayne should just use that as a tagline for this movie. I mean, look, like, this movie, like, like Matt, Matt said, it, this movie is very misogynistic, but oh, yeah. I feel like that was probably, like, the s and stuff I could forgive because it was yeah. trying to be a parody, and I get that. Mm. But the trying. whole vagina smells thing and the putting down of the you know, main like, woman. Dick smell too, do they not? Like, like, <laughs> like, like that's really the I, only... I know why dick smells like this. <laughs> right. You know, when you, you work it out, you know what it is? There's no games with dick smelling comes but, <laughs> but they have that joke too. With that, 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 uh, what's her name? In the first scene of the movie where she's like, I'm the hot girls fucking the boss. is like, yeah. <sighs> That's what his balls smell like, and I was like, oh, oh balls stink. But yeah. I, it's going back to what you was. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I feel like that was like where I drew the line, like from I hate this movie to I loathe this movie. Just all the terrible stuff. Yeah, and like I said. This is not a hard concept. No. Making parody of- parody should not be that difficult. Like you can do a parody. Okay. Like for example, Spaceballs. Great, brilliant parody. Uh-huh. Broad parody. Not fucking hard. No, okay, no, like not right at all. this is not hard material. This has no, been so it's not. many yeah. times before. In fact, it, and getting so enraged that my words are actually being sounding like they're being punctuated by full stop right now. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, this is not hard stuff to make material out of. And it's amazing how much Marlon Wayans, a comedian who has been working in this industry for what, 20, 30 fucking years? At least years, 30 fucking years. Needs to be doesn't a- understand how the concept of a oh, joke works. Yeah. I haven't told and you with guys, the stop it! <laughs> I haven't told you guys the worst part yet. He's making white chicks too. Fuck uh, him! Well... Maybe at least they'll have his brother for that one, and maybe they'll play off each other a little no, bit. No, 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 just, right. no. That's the only thing I could Fuck even think man. of. But, like, I don't understand how this happened, because here's my thing. I didn't come into this thinking, I'm going to hate it. I came into it thinking, it's going to be some lowbrow humor, but yeah. you know what? We're going to get our laughs. We'll like, get, yeah, I we'll get a couple I, that are worth my yeah, life. Yeah, like, oh, I, I, I had a feeling. But it's just despicable. Well, I had a feeling. Oh, fucking despicable. I had a feeling movie. that it was either going to go this route, or I had a feeling that it was going to be so close to Fifty Shades of Grey that it was bur- bordering on copyright. See, that's what I thought. <laughs> I, I didn't imagine it would be both. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what I thought. I thought it would go on. I didn't think it was going to go down this route. I thought it was, like, him. I thought it was going to be, you know, lowbrow humor. Uh, with maybe like a couple of worthwhile laughs, because I've gotten a couple of worthwhile laughs out of, you know, like movies like A Haunted House, even A Haunted House 2. I've gotten a couple of worthwhile laughs out of those movies, and I thought this was going to be more of the same. Mm. Or I thought he was just going to be like just full stupid, and it was just going to be like, it was going to be exactly like Fifty Shades of Grey, only just her, her, the main character's black. Yeah, exactly. That, and that's the joke. It's that's, the same. What I, that's what it's I saw so it was going to be. Yes. And I would have been fine with that. If they See, because really that's even more lazy. Well, yeah. no, 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 no. I would have been fine with it for no other reason than if they had said, hey, we're doing Fifty Shades of Grey, but with a black guy. Yeah. Like, I would have been fine with that, because then, like, all the other shit, like the misogyny and, like, the Black Lives Matter joke we're, we're, and all that other yeah, shit like little, would not have been as, like, it wouldn't have know, been like, present. Fifty Shades of Grey is problematic to say the fucking yeah. thing. Yeah, but that's all right. You're already starting movie, from such a low point. Yeah, you're yeah. at a low point. This movie takes that to a whole level. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah. okay, so, 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 try that. That's what makes you so mad. You didn't so, have to try that hard. So, right. so, so Marlon Wayans managed to take a very shitty movie, 
And make it worse. And <laughs> make it way worse. So like Fifty Shades of Grey is probably like up here. <laughs> and in <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm saying since this movie came out, it's now like up here and Marlon Wayne's is through the floor in six feet in six Levels under us. Like, that's what I'm saying. In the fucking atrium. Yeah. It's in the atrium, but we're on the seventh floor. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, I mean, Fifty Shades of Grey is on floor one. Let's be honest. Yeah. I mean, or, okay, I didn't hate Fifty Shades of Grey. I understand what it was trying to do, and I understand yeah, that it was Yeah, be creepy like, porn for older women. Right, exactly. Yeah. Like, you know, and I get that, and I understand that, and I don't think that there's anything wrong with trying well, to yeah. appeal. Everybody can appeal have their to porn. different demographics. Yeah, exactly. your quote. But but you can't like you can't take a you can't take a parody like Fifty Shades of Black and expect that everybody's gonna get all of these jokes when First they are well, <laughs> so close. To, so like, close they're all so lowbrow yeah. and terrible. I, yeah. I got there was not a single joke in that movie that went over my head. I got every single one. No, I got them. But like the thing is, is like they're not. Um, they're not. I mean, you can, there's the the thing is is that I don't think that Marlon Wayans being in the industry as long as he has, I don't think that he realizes the difference between a dumb joke and a smart joke anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's <clears throat> Do you agree with that? Yeah, yeah. Like a smart, like here's the thing: a smart take on on Fifty Shades of Grey yeah, yeah. would have taken down those sort of issues inherent to that sort of source material. Yeah, exactly. It would have been really Fifty cool. Fifty Shades of Black is is at worst completely tone deaf. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And sort of ignorance of just how how bad those problems are. Yeah. Yeah, like, like it has no, would, like it had no idea that there, well, that there were problems. Here's with, the thing: I would have, as as the only two people who have seen Fifty Shades of Grey, yeah. I would have yeah. seen, I would have been completely okay with Marlon Wayans taking the contract and actually like using the jokes and the parody to explore why yeah. it's such a taboo topic. That yeah, would have been yeah. genius. But that would have been way too much work. <laughs> <laughs> that might have been, that well, might have needed a rewrite. Or well, <laughs> well, twelve. Here's what's depressing to me. Okay, there a lot of people lament the the death essentially of the of the movie parody. Oh my all god. The ZAZs and all that. Yeah. And this fucking movie is the embodiment of it. because with Salzburg. They were never master satirists to begin with, no. but Marlon Wayans, back in the day, he used, he, you know, the Wayans family have yeah. had this tradition of movies that have been parodies. They've been hit or miss, but they've, they've had a fucking franchise. That, like, they launched the Scary Movie franchise. They did, yeah. Marlon Wayans can go all the way back to, I'm gonna, uh, can be traced back all the way to, um, Don't Be a Mess to South Central, yeah, Watching yeah, yeah, Juice yeah. in the Hood. And he was Keen, crazy Keen, that Keen, movie. Keen Ivory Wayans. <clears throat> Means, you know, I'm gonna get you, sucker. Yeah. And, you know, he's done other flicks like this before, like right. Haunted House, Dance Flick, but, you know, the one that no one remembers. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, and so we have a, a, a little bit of a higher expectation than someone like Salzburg, who, is, who are taking these cheap and easy targets and not even. Yeah. But, and essentially, Marlon Wayans is, has sunk himself to that particular level. And what's depressing about watching a movie like this is that it's not even up to the level of something that you would see on fucking college humor. Yeah, it's no. It's not, right. it's not even at the level of something that you would see on, on Funny or Die. Right. There, there are sketches on Funny or Die that, that are smarter, more intelligent, yeah. and have a better cohesive logic than anything in this movie has right. in less than 90 minutes. Exactly. And, and see, that's the, I think that's the thing that pisses me off. So many people on the internet are, like, like you said, yeah. doing this material and being able to condense it in four minutes with no fucking budget. Meanwhile, you yeah. get, like, maybe, like, like fifty million dollars to yeah. make this movie or whatever, and you couldn't. I can look this up actually. <laughs> and you couldn't be bothered to fucking like ask get in, get these people right. get these people to help you make these movies because they're obviously better at you than the, uh, at, at doing this. Yes, yeah. okay, five million budget it says. Five million? He did look cheap as shit. Yeah, uh, especially that, that fucking did. fake well, ass how, backdrop. I was about to say, how many fucking locations where there's like three rooms? Oh, oh yeah, the, the, yeah, I know what you mean, the, um, the backdrop to Christian's apartment, which is literally just a couple of buildings, like, oh, together, yeah. like it's like a cheap chat show. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was him, he said, he leaned over at one point to me, he goes, how many fucking establishing shots of the city are we gonna see? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like watching the room again. Yeah, like, it's like, how many establishing shots of San Francisco are we gonna get? Only this time it was what, New York? DC? Yeah, I was like, it's like, we know where you are, like okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like, dude, we get it. This, this place has lots of fucking tall buildings. Just stop <laughs> doing it. Like, it, maybe if they were doing it for a joke, like, 
oh, they're, I don't know, like the no, camera swings too fast or something. You know what would be they funny have... is if they were showing different cities every time. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that would, would be funny. funny. That would be funny. Or, and then the fucking soundtrack, which had like real songs on it, it was yeah. like, wait, did you want us to take this movie like seriously? Yeah, yeah like, 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 what like, it's, like the... Like, because originally Fifty Shades of Grey has the Beyonce soundtrack and everything. Uh -huh, and, uh, and The but, Weeknd. But, but we yeah, think Fifty Weekend, Shades of Black Golden. is scored like it's an actual movie and not like it's a send-up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. exactly. But, but going back to the whole, like, sort of not doing parody correctly, you have these sort of texted conversations between Christian oh, yeah, yeah. And, and them two. And, the, and those are the points where they do really cheap sort of post-production laughs yeah. where they make the most pointed, directed references to the original movie like stuff, stuff that would be cheap fodder in like um, in an honest trailers video. Yeah. The sort of stuff that they would point out, but it would make, but it'd be funny because it would actually have the context of it. Whereas here it's characters who are reenacting the plot of Fifty Shades of Black, Fifty Shades of Grey, even. <laughs> <laughs> what? You have characters who are reenacting the sh thing, Fifty Shades of Grey, while talking about how, like making pointed digs at the Fifty Shades of Grey movie within this same universe. Like, yeah, what? Yeah, like, yeah. Like, like, like makes... does Fifty Shades of Grey exist in this universe? Yeah, he, like, he makes the he makes the joke about how, um, oh, he, she said, there, there was one bit that made me sort of chuckle, which was, how the hell does a, uh, how the hell does a uh, college student not, not have, a, have a computer? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was kind of funny. Yeah, that, <laughs> see, that's an observational joke, but it's an observational joke that's, sort of directly tied to the original film. Right. And the second time they do that, it's not even something that most people would pick up in this, oh, I'll, p I'll pick you up wearing the same suit again. Because Jamie Dorman apparently wore the same suit. Well, guess what? I didn't fucking notice that, and it's not funny anyway. Yeah, 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 exactly. Right. But, but like I said, I think the thing that really killed it for me was the fact that they just had the book and we're just reading... Yeah, reading the book yeah. as a torture device. Yeah. It's like, oh, what was they this probably about, thought that, They probably thought that moment was brilliant. They, re they really did. But it's just like, I, I don't... If you're going to make... It would just be stupid if in the middle of Spaceballs they just had, hey, here's a video of Star Wars. Yeah, they're Star watching Wars. Star Wars in the background. Yeah, it's like, yeah, we know. Yeah. We fucking know. I, yeah, we know what you're parodying. Yeah. yeah. That actually brings up, uh, like, you talked about, you know, how people have kind of lamented the death of parody, and there was a question that I kind of posited to you guys after we got out, and it was, you know, I was kind of rolling over, like, the worst parody movies and comedy movies that I've seen over the last few years in my head, mm -hmm. and are they, is this worse than some of those? And the ones that I brought up where you bring up Seltzerberg, you know, you got your epic movies, yeah. and disaster movie, Meet the Spartans, that are all well-known as terrible but is yeah. is this one worse see see like i said i think this is on the level of something that self self spoke with me but it's more depressing because mm. there is actual talent behind the camera yeah. that that, mm. that is that has set the bar for himself so low that he can't even pull vote right. himself over it <laughs> who, who has had the more like depressing fall from grace in terms of Quality of movies that they did before, or movies that at least people liked yeah, in the yeah, past. The Zucas of of fucking light. Or, like, you know, another commonly uh, brought up person in this respect would be Adam Sandler. Mm, a yeah. lot of people like the movies that he did a long time ago, and then everybody who's seen. I'm still mad at you, by the way. The yeah. Ridiculous Six? No. No, 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 no he showed me the cobbler on the first night here, and I, I, oh. I'm still angry at See, him. that one, see, I don't count that see, one. That one wasn't, he didn't. He didn't do that. He didn't write that one. No. That was written by the guy who did uh, you were Spotlight. Saying, yeah. Spotlight. <laughs> which is fucking but psychotic. But no, Adam Sandler's had a hand in a number of his other movies. Right, but no, he did The Ridiculous Six, which is the one I... I his most recent one. Yeah. Mm. Or, or you could even go... What was the last one he did that was actually him? Uh, uh, that he was in charge of? Pixels? No, that was Chris that Columbus. Chris oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh my god, uh, the, the, the blended Columbus movie. did that shit? Blended. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Blended was the last one that Adam Sandler was in charge of before yeah. The Ridiculous Six. But again, Ridiculous Six is supposed to be another parody, parody yeah, film yeah. of The Magnificent Seven, you know, to capitalize on The Hateful Eight coming out. Yeah, yeah. And that movie was also horrible because yeah. Adam Sandler is another person who doesn't really get how to do comedy anymore. Either doesn't get it or... 
doesn't or doesn't give a want. Shit. Well, I, I I think with him he doesn't give a shit. I think with Marlon Wayans it's, he just doesn't get. He, he just likes joking around with his friends, and we have to deal with. Marlon right. Wayans is basically, oh man, I'm gonna do the nastiest shit in the yeah. scene. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Apparently he confuses that with being someone who's just funny. Yeah, see with Marlon yeah. Wayans, his is all like, oh, this dick joker is gonna be hilarious. I'm gonna show. My giant I'm gonna balls put this, I'm right gonna here. Put, I'm gonna put this key in a lock and I'm just okay, gonna keep so. cheating it like it's a dick. Oh, 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 that stupid joke where she says, where he says, uh, uh, I'm gonna show you my playroom. And she says, oh, do you have a PlayStation? Yes, they said, no, I'm an Xbox guy. guy. Which ruins the joke before it happens because now I'm already expecting it to be a room that's just filled with video games. Yeah. Yeah. And that was a, that was a line that was a, in the original movie anyway, so he's riffing off, again, a joke that was in the original yeah. movie. He's not... He's, he's doing a riff off of a joke. Yeah. Okay, so out of five stars, how many would we give this movie? Uh, half a star. I mean, this is not the... I would like to stress, this is... This is bad, mm. but this is not even the worst comedy I have ever sat through. Fat slags may be shorter <laughs> than this movie, but it's much more interminable. And Keith Lemon, the film... This is probably the worst comedy I've seen theatrically since Keith Lemon the film, and Keith Lemon the film can, was arguably more cohesive as a as a piece of filmmaking than this one was. Are we allowed to give negative stars? I give this movie a big blue dildo up its ass. <laughs> Fuck this movie. Uh, I I want to say that this is probably the worst movie I've ever seen, so I will give it zero stars. Fucking, uh, yo, for everyone who gave shit to Pluto Nash back in the day, yeah. take it back. Yeah. Take it fucking back. I mean, I, I don't know if I could, like, I, mm. worst movie I've ever seen. That's one I, I really have to I'm, I'm, You know, I'm not uh. going to throw out that this is the worst. It's not the worst movie I've ever seen. I'm not going to throw it out that this is the worst movie yeah. of 2016, because fucking Grimsby comes out when I get back, <laughs> and, and that looks god awful. I'll, I'll well, put it the to you like this. I, the reason I say the worst movie I've ever seen is because... Most of the movies I watch are like, you know, I mean, even maybe The Cobbler was better. Yeah, maybe, maybe. maybe we've just been spoiled because 2016, at least for me, has been a, a decent to good year because I've seen Deadpool and Deadpool was great. I saw The Witch and I loved it. Mm. I mean, like the only, like I've seen, I, I saw a couple crap movies. Like I saw Daddy's Home, which is the uh, Will Ferrell Mark oh, Wahlberg yeah. movie. I saw The Forest, which is the Suicide Forest movie and that was average. I've seen three this year. Uh, Deadpool, Kung Fu Panda 3, hmm. and this. So you, yeah. so you're like here, uh, yeah. yeah, so, like, obviously this year, this is the worst movie I've seen all year so far, yeah. I mean, the year is young, but... I would say disaster movie is hard to beat. Yeah. Disaster movie is a tough one to top, and I saw, yeah. uh, no, Seltz Seltzerberg's, uh, more recent one, their parody oh, of the, the Hunger Games. Oh, the Starving Games? The Starving mm -hmm. Games. I saw that. Did not someone not, already make that joke? Not to, not to be confused with the other. The Hungover Hung Games. Yeah, yeah. Which, yeah. Um, like, it, I'm trying to think if this is worse than those, and it's pretty goddamn close. I think, mm. I think I'd give it a star out of five. Just one. I, I gotta go with just nothing. Like, no yeah. stars at all. Like, you don't need to see I it. laughed once, and I, I think I'm really giving it a star just based off of the goofy theater experience of having some people get <laughs> thrown out behind us. And, and a family watching And an entire a family watching a porn exploitation parody movie. <laughs> well, I, I give it nothing just because the few laughs I did get out of it... <laughs> weren't only, that great anyway. Yeah, they weren't that great, and it pissed me off more because... They apparently do know what a joke is. Right. <laughs> <laughs> They're just fucking it up. They're fucking it up with fucking horrible editing. Yeah. Because the, they let people editing. just... Horrible writing. Horrible acting. Yeah. Like, we, 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 just... we didn't really talk about the acting. Like, that the chick the only... was awful. Horror. I thought yeah. she was just supposed to be parodying Nicki Minaj. Right, you know what? It's like, if they really wanted to make fun of this girl, they really wanted to put her down, they should put down her acting stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's a human punching bag anyway. There was yeah. nothing yeah. to work with. Okay, no. so if you were to sum this movie up in one word, what would it be? Garbage. Pain. Shit. Pain. Pain. Nasty. I, I think, I, 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 I mean, I used multiple words, but I posted on Twitter as a hate, 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 <laughs> bad, bad, well, bad, what awful. Would you, what would you put, give it? What word? Shit. Yeah. Just <sighs> shameful. Sad. Just sad. That's, sad, that, That's yeah. the word. Sad, because it's really the, the culmination of, of a downfall of a person who 
used to be funny, whose movies yeah. I used to laugh at, and now, like, retroactively, I was like, was he really it, even that funny? It makes me want to go back and watch Gary, like, was this funny? So, like, <laughs> I want to go back and watch, you know, Don't Be a Menace to Society while drinking your juice and be like, did I really think this movie was funny? <laughs> <laughs> you go back to Little Man, and it's like, no, oh, maybe, maybe I'll okay, watch Little Man. Okay, Little Man was always a piece of shit. <laughs> the thing I didn't oh, understand is, man. when I la uh, like, I remember when they started doing this sort of, like, like, it used to be, all right, they do straight parodies. And then when they did White Chicks, it was like, okay, what's the parody here? The, the Hilton sisters, but what are you going to, what can you really squeeze from that? And they didn't even really do that. And what, is, what does everybody remember from White Chicks? The fucking farting scene? Terry Crews. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> he was a fucking standout. Yeah, Terry Crews. And, but the thing is, it's like, ultimately, when they did that movie, they, they weren't making fun of... Uh, the, the stereotypes no. of, like, you know, uh, just, rich white celebrities. It's just like, watch these two black guys dressed as white women. Yeah, exactly. That was the main joke. That was the joke. Like, that's not, it, that's not funny. No. And, and the little man thing where it's like, I'm pretending to be a midget. That's all, it's still not, like, this isn't fucking funny. What are you making fun of? Yeah. Like, what is the target? Who are you trying to bring? Who are you punching yeah. up to? Right, exactly. I, when you just... I, I just want to point out that we've been ranting about this movie for an hour. Uh, yeah. yeah, we have. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yes, we we all bang on an hour at this right. point. So all right. we, are, well, we, so we should, yeah. Yeah, so let's, let's wrap this up and just say, don't go see this movie. Yeah, no. Don't is... waste We time. saw it for you. We suffered enough. You yeah. don't need to see we, this. We saw this purely because we didn't write this write a script and you know what, writing, writing a script in 24 hours would have probably been preferable to seeing through. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, that shit the, would have been believable. Uh, I think the last thing I'll say about it is this, is like, you know, we've been talking about it now for an hour and to me, talking about it for an hour has not felt like an hour. Watching 30 minutes of that movie felt like five. <laughs> it barely feels like we've even scratched the surface of the problem. Right. Yeah. No, I, I'm gonna need to do a follow-up video. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. This is fucking therapeutic. Just yeah. watching this. <laughs> just talking about this. And now we're about to go to a party and explain ourselves again. It was therapeutic to realize, holy shit, we make better content than people who get their films released across the country. Dude, honestly, I, I don't want to brag, but Fucking Terry Lawson has the best motherfucking producers. Bet no, but like, <laughs> what I mean is, I like, I see people, hello. I see people making content and like with no budget. Yeah, you know what I'm right. saying? Like, we were just uh, helping Nash do this thing. Like, funny moments, funny beats, funny right. hits, and it's like, or even low budget filmmakers and a lot of people who deserve to have. The okay, like, okay, right. you wanted a good example of comedy done right on a fucking low budget. Atop the fourth wall of the movie. What? Yeah. Good. Or if you want to... ah. You're welcome, Lewis. You're <laughs> fucking welcome. <laughs> if you want to watch a spoof movie that's come out recently and one that ev that everyone overlooked, Walk Hard, the Dewey Cox story. That was yeah, great. Yeah, that was good. That, I that thought was that was going to be bad. Oh, God. Great true parody movie. Yeah. Because that ripped the shit out of biopics. S cliche by cliche, yeah. and that is a note that perfect parody. Yeah, and that no is one beautiful. Saw it. Yeah, yes. it, it, oh, it, I fucking saw it. It was great. Oh, I saw it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and here's here, here's the big difference between these two these two movies. Okay, <laughs> so with Dewey Cox, it was let's look at these type of films I need more and deconstruct the little going. parts that are that are uh, weird and ridiculous. But with fucking Fifty Shades <laughs> of Black, Stop me off, be a friend. It was. Let's look at this movie and do and just throw a shit joke at it. Throw a balls joke at it. Right. They're not deconstructing yeah, anything. Take a look yeah. at this dick. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Fuck. Yeah. Fuck this. Fuck this yeah. movie. That's Fuck that's that's, movie. That, that's really the end. Right, you want to get some? Because we haven't said much. Because yeah, we're I, a really, bunch of loud. And let's face it, I knew I was going to talk much anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey, Mikey, you're the quiet one. We don't. Uh, I mean, yeah. for God's sake, most of your videos have a monkey in it. So uh, that's true. So yeah, this, this is this was our extremely long vlog review of a film that you probably knew was terrible. Good luck editing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even edit. Just and, and, we, and we present this as part of Black History Month. <laughs> Good night, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Fifty <laughs> Shades of Black History Month. <laughs> Couldn't fit that on the marquee. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye. Good night, everybody. I got a grown-up toy box.